At McClure Tables, we start with locally harvested hard maple wood. That wood is then ripped to size for the thickness of the boards that we're going to make. For the 3 inch thick boards, it's ripped to 3 and 3 eighths inch thick, and for the 2 inch thick boards, it's 2 and 3 eighths inch thick. After the board's been ripped to size, it gets surfaced to the exact thickness. For the 20 inch wide boards, we generally process the wood down to 1 inch thick and use 20 board blanks. Then the board needs to be prepared. The ends need to be chopped off and squared, which you see Jose doing here. He's also cutting out any knots and defects. Then those board blanks go over to the different carts that they are pulled from to lay up into a dry process the length of the board we're going to make. Those board blanks then dry are slid onto long tables that Jim and I are pulling off of wood that we are putting into the glue spreader. The wood is getting the glue spread onto it and then it'll be laid up wet on the other side of the press and once the board is all totally laid up onto the press, it'll be fed into the press. That press is actually a combination of air and hydraulics that press the top and the sides of the boards together, but it's also basically like a large microwave oven. It's radio frequency, meaning that it cooks the wood. It actually dries the wood in about six to eight minutes, depending on the thickness of the board that we're cooking or gluing up. You see here now, Jim and I are just about at the final stages. We've got about all the boards laid up and we're getting ready to feed that board into the press. And so as it's being slid into the press, we have to make sure everything's clear. And then once we get it into the press, I'll push the buttons on the side. And as I said before, it will take about six to eight minutes to cook that board for the glue to dry. Once the glue is dried, the board is completely cured. It's ready to be done the rest of the processes that have to be done has to be planed down the thickness and such to be made into a shuffleboard playing surface. This video here we've put together shows the overall processes. It's got my whole team of family members and all of our workers. This was taken around Christmas time. We we're all pitching in together to get a bunch of boards that needed to be made for tables that were getting made and sent out for the Christmas delivery. There's about six or seven of us here that are all working together, laying up boards, cutting off boards, chopping boards, planing and surfacing the size. And this is just part of the process that goes into just gluing up the shuffleboard blank surfaces that many other companies actually outsource this and they simply buy butcher block from butcher block companies and then they do the rest of the manufacturing like build the cabinets and stuff.